This is Juan Brown. I'm an AMP mechanic here at Nevada County Airport working on my 1946 Luscombe 8A with a 0200 engine. And today I'm going to show you how to do a simple compression test on your engine. Compression test, of course, are required every annual inspection. Of course, I need to find an authorized inspector to sign off my annual. As an AMP, you cannot sign off your own annual, but you can do a lot of the work. A compression test is something you only want to have an authorized mechanic do. It can be very dangerous if done incorrectly. The hazard, of course, being that prop striking you while you're doing the compression test. Always treat the prop when you're working on the airplane as a hot prop. Same thing as when you're operating or flying the airplane. Always respect the prop as being hot. Assume that. So step one, master and mags off. Go ahead and put the key on the top of the dash there. Just to remind everybody the mags are off. Step two, remove all of the um, spark plug leads. Step three, remove the top cylinder spark plugs. Or whichever end you want to work with on your compression test. I find it easier here to work with the uh, top spark plugs. So leave the other spark plugs in. Step four, find uh, cylinder number one as marked right there on the case. Put your finger your, in the dike. There it is, already there. Let's flip it all the way around. Hear that? Now listen for the mags. Click. That should be pretty close to top dead center. Let me show you the other angle on that. So again, finger in the uh, spark plug hole. Here we go. Here's the compression and there's the impulse coupling. Always stay clear of the prop. Keep the prop clear of crap. Get this stuff out of the way. By the way, if you look right here, you should see your timing mark for approximately top dead center. The next step is get a source of compressed air. Uh, a bigger compression is better, but this works. We need at least 80 PSI. Okay, you got 80 PSI uh, coming from the compressor, and here is the pressure that the cylinder is holding. A miraculous 78 over 80 PSI. Now right there is where this is very dangerous. You gotta watch that prop. You've got a lot of pressure on that prop right now, and you can wiggle it around to see how your compression's doing throughout the stroke. Get it just, well, I'm losing. Number three cylinder here indicating about 75, 76 over 80. And we're doing this compression test cold, which is pretty typical. Unless there's a problem with the engine, would you maybe want to consider doing it hot? So you grab the prop first and then ease the pressure onto it. And you can feel on the prop which way it's trying to pull you. But you can easily handle that pressure with your hand. And that one is down 70, almost, that? almost the same. It's in the high 70s. So the whole idea with a compression test is a great diagnostic tool for the top end of the engine. You can either see if you're losing compression, whether it's gonna be one of the two valves, either the intake valve or the exhaust valve, or if you're losing compression through the rings. So as you put the pressure to the cylinder, you listen at the various uh, ports for the noise. For example, if it's leaking out the exhaust port, you'll hear it out the exhaust pipe. Uh, if you're leaking out the intake, you're going to hear it here in the uh, box. If you're leaking out the rings, you're going to hear it out the breather tube. So now, and if you're leaking out the cylinder, which is kind of rare, you're going to hear or look for it around like the cylinder. Crack. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a bad deal. And uh, burning a hole in a piston, that don't happen much in airplanes. <laughs> You'd be on the ground, I think, I'm by the time. <laughs> that happened. So that's your basic engine cylinder head compression test on a small aircraft. Write down those numbers, keep track of them each year and watch, <laughs> watch your engine deteriorate over time.